MRN Crew Call is brought to you by Hercules Tires. Welcome to Crew Call. We're here in Mooresville, North Carolina at Off Access Paint. And we're getting ready to learn how the helmets get painted that you see on the drivers in NASCAR. We'll talk to Greg Stump next. Sir, are you aware you were going 40 miles an hour? This is a residential area. Sure, but I'm on my lawnmower. Wait, am I getting a ticket? No, I've just never seen anyone top nine miles an hour on one of those bad boys. And mow their entire lawn in 30 seconds? What got into you? Well, it did fuel up at Sunoco this morning. At Sunoco, we know how to fuel peak performance. We've been doing it for American Racing for over 50 years. Fuel your best. Citywide to countryside. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules Tires has the value, selection, and industry-leading warranty to get you there, no matter where the road takes you. Go to HerculesTire.com. There, you can find the nearest authorized Hercules retail location to you. Plus, you can use the tire tracker to find out which Hercules tire fits your vehicle the best. That's HerculesTire.com. Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. We're here in Mooresville, North Carolina with the owner of Off Access Paint, Greg Stump. Greg, how are you today? Thanks for having us. I'm great. I'm glad you uh, came by. Last time you were here, you... Uh tried your hand at painting, but maybe this time just leave it to us. Yeah, it's not, it wasn't good. Greg paints the helmets you see in a lot of the NASCAR race cars, including the truck series, the Xfinity series, and the cup series. Elaborate designs all coming from the hands of this man right here. Right here. Uh, well, first and foremost, it's not just me in here. It's a, it's a full team effort. Uh, I have a, a group of about four or five of us that uh, you know, working all these helmets, it's a, such a tall order nowadays, um, you can't do it by yourself at all, you know, especially with the deadlines that uh, most of these sponsors and end teams have. So, uh, but yeah, they just, they come in, uh, usually we get an idea from the sponsor or, or the driver, depending on what kind of uh, project it is. Sometimes uh, you have very detailed notes, sometimes it's very uh, uh, shortened to the point, here's our colors, here's our, you know, here's the logos, you know, come up with something. So. Um, it just, just kind of varies on, on who comes in, but uh, that's usually how the process starts out here. Obviously, it starts with a blank canvas. You get the helmet from whatever manufacturer that helmet manufacturer is, and then you go to work, you know, whether you're putting pinstripes on it. How, how does that process work? Yeah, so once we have the computer rendering done, that's, that's the first foremost part of it. Um, the helmet comes in, like you said, gets taped up, sanded down. Uh, just like any other auto body shop would be, you know, at a, a getting your car worked on or something like that, you know. Um, once the rendering is approved, uh, you know, through however many levels it needs to be approved by, uh, then we'll start the base coat process. And then uh, from there, it's just a lot of tape work, honestly. Everyone thinks it's a lot of, uh, you know, paint with an airbrush or, you know, whatever, but it's a lot of tape work. And uh, that's when you really get the details in. So once we get the tape on there, we'll, uh, we'll start with the first layer of paint. Um, then it gets clear coated, sanded back down again, all the details, logos, um, and then it gets built and sent out the door. Your helmets have won a tremendous amount of championships first off, whether it be in the truck series, the Xfinity series, or the cup series. How hands-on are the drivers with the design of their helmet? Um, I'd say like 80-90% actually come in here. That's the nice thing about being in Mooresville. Um, guys can just come in through the door and, and sit down with us and, and really be here for the full process if they want to be. Um, so that's cool. I don't, I like paying for sponsors. You know, I like, I like putting their touch on there and, and representing that brand, but I really like, you know, being able to be the one that personalizes that helmet because, um, really it's all they have now. It's, it's uh, the whole fire suit, truck, car, whatever it's taken over by, uh, you know, corporate deal now. So, uh, the helmet's kind of like their last piece that they can really express themselves. So when I have a driver that comes in here with their own ideas and, and really wants to put some effort into it, it's, it's, it's the coolest thing. And all my guys really appreciate that too. You have a number of employees. The business has grown tremendously. How long have you had this place and when did it start and how much has it grown till now? Yeah, so about 10 years ago, I guess, I, I really started um, pushing it further as, you know, from a hobby to a, you know, a career, I guess. Uh, but I was just me by myself in a, in a small garage in the Midwest. So uh, about seven or eight years ago, I, I got this idea to move to Charlotte and uh, be right here in the thick of it. and. Uh, and one of the best decisions I've ever made, man. It's it's cool to be able to go to work every day, and um, you know call this a job, even if you you can call it a job. So, 
Um, from there, I just started adding an employee kind of every year and, and finding the right fit and the right person who had the same passion as it for, as I did. And uh, and now we have such a, a solid team. It's it's easy. Everyone's very driven, um, and everybody just knows what they want to you know need to do. And it's it's uh, honestly it's pretty painless for me. It's it's awesome. How long would you say the process takes from when the helmet comes into the building and when it leaves and obviously gets inside of a race car? Um, I would say once we start on it, it sits on the rack for a little while, just depending on how long our list is. You know, being the first of the season, uh, this is the busiest time we have all year. The, as soon as Homestead ends or, or Phoenix this year as the championship race, we're pretty much um, all out until, until February Daytona season starts. Um, so right now we're, we're pretty busy, but once the actual helmet gets on our desk, um, it can be anywhere from like 30 to 40 hours we put into these things. So when you finally see it leave, um, you know, that's your baby. Everyone always asks me, what's my favorite helmet? Um, you spend a ton of time with these things. So it's really hard to pick and, and, and choose which one you love. Um, but yeah, we put, uh, we put as much effort into every one of them as we possibly can. Are there ever mistakes? Always mistakes. <laughs> I, I joke with these guys all the time. I don't think we've ever done a flawless helmet. Um, you know, if I gave a helmet to you, you, you probably wouldn't be able to tell, but we can always, you know, there's little things wrong or, or something, or, or if we've had to rush one out the door to, to make a deadline, you know, that just came in, um, there's always something, but you try to, try to cover them up. You, there's no eraser on the airbrush. So, uh, if you do mess up, you usually, uh, you spend some time with some sandpaper fixing your mistake, but usually, uh, by now these guys, they're all good enough. We don't really. We don't make catastrophe mistakes, I guess. Yeah, and he has very talented artists in this building. My final question is, how many helmets do you think you have in NASCAR right now? Uh, right now, between the three series, probably 30 to 35 drivers, um, which is more than most paint shops have. You know, that we're lucky enough to have as many employees as we do, which is quite nice to handle it. And being able to handle each driver personally. You know, if Matt Crafton walks in here, he knows uh, no one's going to paint his helmet. Or, you know, Harrison Burton walks in here, he knows Mike's going to paint the helmet. You know, everyone's developed relationships with each driver, um, and that really keeps the process flowing. And, and, and the artist knows exactly what kind of style that, that, that driver's looking for when it comes in here. So I would say 30, 35, it could be more, it could be less. But uh, it's cool to see your stuff on TV and in Victory Lane. It's cool to see your friends win. Um, I always joke and tell people we don't make it go any faster, but we make it look really good in Victory Lane. So, And already his helmet has been in Victory Lane this year with William Byron in Daytona winning uh, one of the dual races uh, in Daytona. All right, Greg, thanks for, so much for having us. It's been a good time uh, here seeing the process of building the helmets, and good luck the rest of the year. Absolutely. Come back anytime, man. Citywide to countryside. Whatever you drive, wherever you go, Hercules Tires has the value, selection, and industry-leading warranty to get you there, no matter where the road takes you. Go to HerculesTire.com. There you can find the nearest authorized Hercules retail location to you. Plus, you can use the tire tracker to find out which Hercules tire fits your vehicle the best. That's HerculesTire.com. Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Thanks again for joining us here on Crew Call. It was a pleasure to come to Off Access Paint and chat with the owner, Greg Stumpf. If you want to see other behind the scenes stuff like this in NASCAR, you can tweet us at MRN Radio by using the hashtag AskMRN. Until next time, I'm Tyler Burnett. MRN Crew Call was brought to you by Hercules Tires. <laughs>